today we're going to talk about how to set up a new project inside Premiere Pro. And as you guys can see, I already started up the program. Now, once you start it up, you're going to get this little window here that gives you some options. Either you can see your recent projects, you can see your libraries, you can synchronize your settings, or we can actually go down and start up a new project, or we can open an existing project that we have somewhere on our computer. If you want to start a new project, we can click New Project, or we can go up in the left corner which says File, New, and then New Project. Once you start up a new project, we get a lot of options. And this might terrify some people in the beginning, but we don't actually need to do a lot in here. You need to go ahead and choose a name for your project. I'm just going to call mine Tutorial. And then you need to choose a saving location, because this location you want to save the project has to have quite a bit of space in it. If you save it somewhere with a little space, you're going to quickly run out of space on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and browse, and I'm going to go ahead and choose my D drive, which has quite a bit of space in it for all the different project files I might create inside this project. Now, down here at the bottom, we get quite a few options. We can either choose the display format, which should be set to timecode. We can also choose our audio display format, which, which I'm just going to go ahead and set to audio samples. You can also choose the capture format, which you don't actually need to do anything with unless you do actually plug in a camera to your computer, because this one just basically says what kind of format your camera is or what type of camera you're connecting to the computer if you want to extract footage directly from the camera. So this one you don't actually need to touch. So you don't need to worry about it saying HD or just DV. Now inside our scratch disks, we can choose where we want to save small file, which are called scratch files. And these files just basically increases performance inside the project. Now, as a default, it saves the scratch files inside the same path as it chose as the default location for a project. So these ones down here, we don't actually need to touch to do anything with. So to set up a basic project, all you need to do is name it and choose where to save it. And then we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Now, as soon as you start up a new project, it's going to look like this, which is going to have some different windows. It's going to have a couple of toolbars. It's going to have different tabs in it. It's going to have a decibel meter down here on the right side. And this is basically how a new project looks like when you have nothing inside of it yet. We don't have a timeline. We don't have any footage. We don't have any audio files. We don't have anything yet. So for the next episode, we're actually going to talk about what these specific windows do. And after we've done that, we're then going to talk about how to set up a timeline so we can actually see some of the things inside our preview window and in our timeline. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.